Hey, what's happening, guys? We got something new from our friends at Banggood. Let's zoom in here and have a look. If you can see that SKU there, SKU 436021-1Q160PCK. Rip open the bag. Arr. Bag, the bag has somehow become one with the box. All right, there we go. Very nice. DC power supply pictures for reference only. Please be kind and prevail. The DPS 5005. This is the Rui Dang uh, 50 volt 5 amp power supply. Do, 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 do. So input voltage 6 to 55 volts. Output voltage 0 to 50 volts. Output current 0 to 5 amp. Output watts 0 to 250 wattamoleons. M's a lot of wattamoleons. Not really. But I just felt like saying that. Well, you know, that's kind of bigger than I expected it to be. Let's put the old out zoom on here. Give you guys an idea size wise there you go for those of you who speak science units and for those in the country that managed to put a man on the moon a little over three inches about one and three quarter and from the depth to the top of one and a half. So, what do we have here? Oh, we got all sorts of electronic goodness. Zoom in here. Oh, we got a 50 volt uh, input cap. You can see here we have our ins and outs marked. Over here we got a couple of 63 volt caps. That's pretty nice. What? flavor are they probably oh ECD caps yes Shenzhen market flavor of the week caps now we've got a couple of little ICs here now I can't read that but maybe you guys can I will go back and view this and look up the data sheets All right, what else are we talking about here? We've got a current shunt hiding precariously close to our terminal strip. One, two little baby inductors, one large granddaddy inductor. Let me put this back down here. A couple more ICs here, JC or J. Six, five, two, and the other one. Oh, gonna have to leave it to you guys to try and read it. Can we get it to focus? Yeah, there we go. VF four zero one zero zero. Oh, look at that! You can tell right on the bottom what we got there. That's a dual diode pack. So chances are that one's a little fetty there. All right, let's go take a look at this guy on Banggood's webpage, and then we will come back and we're going to put it to use. So let's go over there now. Okay, so here it is on Banggood's webpage, the Rui Dang DPS five thousand five. 50 volt, 5 amp, buck adjustable DC constant voltage power. It's a 50 volt, 5 amp buck converter, folks. We don't need all those words. All right, put your thinking caps on. 50 volts, 5 amps, P equals V times I. How many watts is that? Anyone? Bueller, Bueller. That's right, 250 watts. 
It's regular $34.74 on sale, $25.99 until November 30th. And it says over here that it is part of their Black Friday sale. I'm sure it is. So here we have some uh, pictures going down the left side of the left side of the page over here. I lost my ability to speak for a moment. <laughs> we have a horizontal picture, a slightly rotated left picture, a slightly rotated right picture. I find that one to be the most useful, and this picture that shows the connections at the bottom. However, what is useful beyond this description here? And beyond this is the complete instruction manual right here. Well, now you can't beat that with a stick. And it's mostly understandable. I like that. Very nice. So we're going to play with this. Let's head back over to the bench. So, so far, I'm liking everything about this. And uh, in addition to the manual online, there is a manual included in here, written in English. So I think the next step is we need to play with it. And to that effect, I grabbed a little project box and I, uh, whipped us up a little something something so let me put this together here hmm. perhaps I didn't make the project box quite wide enough so let me make a couple marks here and see if we can't open that up a little. Okay, only a small amount of violence was required there. So now we can plug it in. Let's see. Out plus, in plus, yep, everything seems kosher. Yeah, I'm off, I know. Let's give it some juice. And find out whether or not it goes boom. Hey, look at that, no boom. So far, so good, I'm liking it. Let's set up a, a load and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so I've set the ANANG 8008 meter up in parallel with our output here. And I have every electronics guy's favorite friend, the 12 volt car brake light bulb as our load. And we're gonna power it up here. And it's set for Five volts, five amps. Let's uh, let's. Oh, I see. Okay, boom, boom. Okay. Let's set this up. Oh, I gotta hit this button, that's right. Let's set this up for three amps. Hope you guys can see that. All right, three amps, five volts. We'll turn the output on. You can see we have a very dim glow. 
but what I'm really looking for is we're getting exactly five volts out and you guys can't see that output at all can you that's the problem with my LED bench lights let me uh, turn that angle up there a little bit there now you guys can see it better so we are set at five volts three amps we're getting 4.99 volts it says and 298 milliamps on output there's our bulb so let's adjust our voltage up six volts seven volts eight volts now at eight volts we're showing uh, 7.998 yeah that's you know that's pretty good that's pretty well oh, that's pretty close and it's showing us 7.99 volts here as well uh, 366 milliamps let's go up to 9 volts our bulb is getting brighter 10 volts 11 volts 12 volts so 12 volts with a uh, 3 amp set and we're showing 0.444 amps so that's working pretty good and it has the nice load on off just like that um, let me grab my uh, electronic load and we'll put that on here and we'll see if we can't boost it up a little bit higher alright so I've got the 3 amp electronic load uh, we still got the ANA 8008 there measuring voltage we're set for 5 volt 1 amp and we'll power it up and it has gone into constant current as you can see there 1.87 volts and if we increase our amperage now we're up to 2 amps 2.27 volts and 3 amps 2.66 volts and that is about the maximum my power supply can do is 3 amps even though this is a 5 amp let's let's see hey it's it's actually kicking out 4 amps that is uh that's pretty impressive let's let me uh set up again this time we'll set up the Anang 8008 as an ammeter and we'll measure the output current and see how accurate we're looking at right there all right we've got the Anang 8008 set up as an ammeter we're set for one amp output output is on we're getting what 2.24 volts it's showing 1.001 amp I'm seeing 999.5 there take it up to 2 amps 1.997 3 amps 2.994 so you know we're looking at 5 6 milliamps out that's definitely not a big deal at all so I tell you for the compact size of this a reasonable price accurate meter the only thing I can't speak for is the longevity I like this I give it a thumbs up if you guys like this video I hope you'll give it a thumbs up too feel free to comment share don't forget to subscribe a big thanks to our friends at Banggood for sending this out to us free of charge for our consideration big thanks to all my patrons and that's it. I'm out. Peace. <laughs>